Lingering lake effect snow where some places you could see one to three feet of snow and then a fire risk for the southern plains and southeast. Good morning, I'm Mirage Pew. It's December 29, 2025. So today that mid-latitude cyclone or that low pressure system is now somewhere around the Ontario Quebec area and it's going to kind of linger. And unfortunately that's going to be a problem for areas east of all the Great Lakes. So for example, east of Lake Michigan, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario. As of last night and this morning, you guys are probably seeing the snow starting to accumulate. And so for areas east of Lake Michigan, you guys are going to get about three to six inches from today until about like Wednesday. Now, most of the heavy snow is going to occur from today and tomorrow afternoon into evening. And then we may see some snow showers by Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. Now, unfortunately, I do have worse news for areas east of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, as you guys are going to get one to three feet of snow by today through Friday. And this is because even in this time of year, the Great Lakes are still above freezing temperatures around like 35 to 37 degrees Fahrenheit. And with this cold front that we saw yesterday pass through, we saw the environmental surrounding temperatures decrease dramatically. And so with the Great Lakes still being above freezing temperatures and the surrounding environmental temperatures being about like 10 to 15 degrees lower, we're having that lake effect snow. And so if we look at the low levels at 850 millibars or 5,000 feet above the surface, looking at this low pressure system that's going to be sitting somewhere around Ontario, Canada, it's going to be still bringing a lot of northwesterly flow into the Great Lakes region. And so as the relatively warmer air rises up from the Great Lakes, it's going to create these snow showers and these 850 millibar winds are going to direct it into the eastern regions of these Great Lakes. And unfortunately, by like Wednesday or Thursday, we're going to have another shortwave trough that's going to be bringing and more winds aloft that's going to help produce even more snow showers. And so throughout the country, we're still dealing with that post-frontal conditions where we're going to see relatively high wind, but we're especially going to see a high wind from Illinois to the northeast where we're still going to see 25 to 35 miles per hour sustained and wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. And so those that are dealing with the lake effect snow may feel like a blizzard as well with these windy conditions. For the rest of the country in these areas, we're going to see winds from like 15 to 25 miles per hour sustained. So when you have a cold front pass through, it's also bringing in one cold air, but also dry air. And so again for Oklahoma and Texas, but now also for the southeast along the eastern side of the Appalachians, we're going to have a fire risk. So while it is relatively cooler, we are going to have very dry air. So it's going to have relative humidities around 15 to 25%. So pair that with a high wind, we're going to have a fire risk. And this fire risk is going to mostly sustain itself from today and tomorrow. And by tomorrow, Florida will also be involved. Looking a little bit ahead into the future at 500 millibars and maybe the troposphere. So we have that low pressure and that trough that's sitting in the northeast, but we are in the southwest going to have a ridge or high pressure that's going to to develop. And remember what we saw last week with a high pressure we're going to have another atmospheric river, but a smaller one in California again by New Year's Eve. And this also means we're going to have warmer temperatures again for the eastern Rockies and the south. 